So children, today we are going to discuss about, I told you in the previous video, basing on Jones law of heating, what are the instruments working children? I told the instruments working are fuse, filament, heater. heater coil. Let me discuss about all these things. Examination point of view. I will not discuss in detail children. Only for examination point of view, I will discuss. Please pay attention. First, fuse. What is fuse? What is fuse? Fuse is a small electrical device. Fuse is a small electrical device. Okay. After fuse, electrical fuse. What is fuse? Fuse is a small electrical device. Which prevents excess flow of current in the circuit. Okay, children. Fuse will prevent excess flow of current. Children. Fuse will prevent excess. If excess flow of current is come accidentally due to voltage fluctuation, then immediately fuse will burn off and it will kill the instrument. Imagine your TV is there. Imagine. There is a wire, 10 amperes it can hold our TV. If 11 amperes is coming accidentally, TV will spot. In this case, what you have to do, you have to put a fuse of 10 amperes. Okay, you have to put a fuse of 10 amperes. If more than 10 amperes come, fuse will spoil, TV will spoil. Fuse is hardly 20 rupees or 30 rupees, but your TV will be relaxed, 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 relaxed. For 10 rupees, you can't forego your TV children. I can understand. Your fuse will go away, let it go, now it will be at some level of fuse. That is, I'm talking about golden days. What is a fuse? Fuse is an instrument, a small electrical device which prevents excess flow of current in the circuit. In the board exam, question will ask what are the characters of fuse? What are the characters of fuse? It should have low resistance and it should have low melting point. These are the characters. Why low resistance? Children, low resistance means low traffic jam. When you are going on the road, will you prefer high traffic jam or low traffic jam? Low chain? Low I mean, traffic jam. In the same way, current also prefers to go from the always prefers to go from low resistance path. Current will always prefer to go from low resistance path. Same children. Okay, so fuse, if it is having low resistance, current will go happily. If more current is coming, fuse will burn. Why low resistance? Because current prefers to go from low resistance path. Why low resistance? Because current prefers to go from low resistance path. Means low resistance means low traffic jam. Anyone likes low traffic jam or no children? In the same way, why low resistance? Okay, low melting points. Ah, low melting points. Why low melting points? Why low melting points? If excess current comes, suppose. If excess current flows, if excess current flows, then wire becomes hot. Wire becomes hot. When it becomes hot, because it has low melting point, it starts melting in bull melt fire. Fire. On melting, on melting, fuse wire will break. On breaking, current stops. If current is stopped, your gadgets are safe. Okay, children, now you can see that this is your TV. This is fuse wire. Okay, if fuse wire is melting and breaking, yeah, your, current, your TV current will go. Your fuse will go, but TV will go. Why low melting point? If excess current is low, wire will become hot. It starts melting, it will break, current stops. If excess current flows, wire becomes hot, it starts melting, it will break. Who will break? It will break, current stops. If fuse wire is breaking, it will just open circuit. When an open circuit is there, how can it flow? Three mark question. Definition, character, reason for the characters. Definition, character, reason for the characters. What is fuse, children? Can anyone define what is the fuse? Electrical device which prevents excess flow of current in a circuit is called as fuse. Very good. Listen, tell them. Tell Listen. An electrical device which prevents the excess act, uh, flow of current in a circuit. In the circuit. What are the characters of fuse? Low resistance, low melting. 
Why low resistance current always prefers to go from low resistance path? And by low melting point, if excess current flows, light will become hot, melt, break, stop. If excess current flows, light will become hot, melt, break, stop. Okay, children? So this is about fuse. Only fuse, children. Filament and heat are very easy, children. Please operate with me, children. All the topics will be over very soon. So, children, see here. So, what are the characters of fuse? I told children, characters of fuse is low resistance, low voltage. Now, coming to the filament. Children in olden days bulbs, if you see, they used to be a filament. If you see, do you remember, do you remember like bulbs? What is this filament is made of? Tungsten. Tungsten. Tungsten, Tungsten symbol? V. W. w. Work from V. Work from V. What are the characters of filament? What are the characters of filament? High resistance high. and high melting point. Why high resistance? Why high melting point? Why, why high resistance in this case, children? If excess, oh sorry, why high resistance in this case, children? This is a bulb. This is filament. When current is flowing because of resistance, high resistance motion, when high resistance traffic jam is there, you are. If traffic jam is there, can you go past this motion on the road? Slow. Slow. In the same way, current also goes slow. When current is going slow, lot of collision between the electrons. Lot of collision. Lot of heat development. Heat is developed. When lot of heat is developed, temperature will become hot. When temperature become hot, it starts to go. That's it. Why high resistance? Why high resistance? Current gets obstructed. Current gets obstructed. When current gets obstructed, current gets obstructed. Okay, uh, 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 resistance. Uh, when current gets obstructed, what happens to them? It will become hot. It will become hot. Who will become hot filament? When it becomes hot, it starts glowing. When it becomes hot, it starts glowing. Temperature increases, and on becoming hot, tungsten will glow. On becoming hot, tungsten will glow. That's why we put tungsten children, not other instruments. Other instruments don't have that much glow chain. Every particle on the earth on becoming hot, it will glow. But tungsten will glow more brightly. That's why tungsten is used. On becoming hot, current gets obstructed, it becomes hot, it starts glowing. Whereas why high melting point? Because it will become very hot. Very hot means almost 300 degrees centigrade. It will become very hot. If it on, becomes hot. On becoming hot. It should not melt. Very good. It should not melt. On becoming hot, it should not melt. On becoming hot, it should. If it melts, what is the use? Then? If it melts, what is the use? Circuit breaks. Ah, if it melts, waste. That's why we want that element which are high resistance and high melting point. That was tungsten. That was invented by ah, who invented bulb children? Who invented bulb? Edison. Thomas Alva Edison. If ever you know his story, children, he did thousands of times his experiment. Do you know, children, his story? Thousands of times he did. Why thousands of times he did, sir? He was capturing all elements at time. He could not get. Finally, with tungsten, he got, children. That's why he did this experiment many times. But what a genius, children. We are studying and he invented it. What a genius. Okay, children, because of Edison, we have right to see the Okay, so children, uh, what is the use of tungsten? What is the use of filament? What are the characters of filament? High resistance, high melting point. What are the characters of fuel? Low resistance and low melting point. Now, last one, children, these are the same characters, these are also. High resistance, high melting point. Say, why high resistance? Current gets obstructed, it will become hot. hot. But, and but it need not glow, no need of glowing. No need of glowing. And why high melting point? On because the circuit should not break. On becoming hot, it should not melt. On becoming hot, it should not melt. Why high melting point? On becoming hot, it should, it should not, melt. not melt. Because we don't want glowing, we can take an alloy. What is the alloy used, children? In nichrome. Nichrome wire. Nichrome alloy, which is made up of nickel and chromium. Nickel and chromium. Nickel and chromium alloy. Okay, children. Board exam. Three marks question. Many times they ask, why alloys are using heater for? So many times they ask. 
Why even this year also we have why alloys are used in making these of all? You have like three points to learn, three marks. I'm saying is that first you write because it has high resistance. That's what I'm telling you. It has high melting point. Number two, high melting point. And number three, it should not melt. Melt. Get oxidized. Melt means oxidation. Children in scientific language, melt means oxidized. It should not get oxidized. Even at high temperatures, three marks should be fine. This year also we are. Why alloys are used in making ether coil? High resistance, high melting point. It should not get oxidized even at high temperature. It should not get oxidized even at high temperature. It should not get oxidized even at high temperature. And because we don't require glowing of the heater, we won't use tungsten. Tungsten is very complicated. Why do you use unnecessary? We don't require any glowing or uh, uh, geysers. Why do we require glowing water body? So children, why alloys are used in making heater coils? High resistance, high melting, high melting point. point. It should not get oxidized even at high, high temperature. temperature. Even at high temperature. That is fused filament and heater. Okay children, I hope all 